One day I was about to do the state exam, I was in misery lacking even decent shoes to put on, I sat on that day before the compound and saw a young man whose father was a bank employee, the young man was complaining to his father that he did not like the shoes he bought him, and the father was trying to convince him that it was fine, still he did not like that shoes. Finally the father said to him go to your mantha he will give you twenty dollar to buy another shoes. I was watching this scene and I felt a deep pain in my heart, and I said Lord I wish I had a father and I wish I could talk to him like this young man and receive his attention, care and tenderness, what have I done to miss parental affection and care, I said the young man is refusing the new shoes bought for him by his father but I am here desperately seeking precisely what he is refusing because my shoes were torn, I said why do I have to be in this situation where I have no father and no mother, and I cried in my heart because of the financial lack and misery I was going through, in my poverty I thought about man whose child I had delivered from witchcraft and paid him a visit hoping to get something. Unfortunately he told me that he had no money for a pastor scam him and he had nothing and could not even give me transport money, I left the man disappointed and was heading home with miseries, I was down and began to sing a song that was prayer, the Lord was about to prove that he is the father of orphan, I was walking and singing, that's when I was stopped by a luxurious car and a stranger that drove the car asked me to get inside for talk, when I got in this car I was uplifted by the comfort I saw and the song that played in this car was of encouragement, I remember I used to sing this in the choir, this man that seemed to know my situation told me, you heard the song, you should not fall in desperation, make sure to always fortify yourself, then he gave me an envelope and dropped me, when he drove off I opened the envelope and there were five hundred dollar inside, I felt like I was dead and I came back to the world of the living again, I never knew who the man was. The Lord wanted to show me that he was the only further I had and that he care, the Lord come in many way because he is unlimited in terms of power and capacity, I was sleeping in the church, and when the place where the church rented was sold by the landlord, I had no place to sleep, a friend who was a pastor welcomed me at his place for his sibling were away on vacation, when I move in there, we spent most of the time sharing the word, fasting and praying and retreating, one day we were on our knees praying and we were already sweating, I felt a like a cold breeze entering the house, when we opened the eyes, I saw a pillar of cloud descending around me, and a voice resounded from the pillar of cloud, revealing what was coming in my Christian walk, the Lord spoke from the pillar of cloud, Joshua, you will suffer, but you must persevere, for after the test and trials that you will experience, what will follow is glory, because I will bless you. When the pillar of fire was gone, I felt bad, I said I am already enduring hardship and lack, but the Lord is announcing more suffering and more trials, I thought about the Lord prayer when he said, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done, my friend and I were there preoccupied by the words of the Lord about the coming test and suffering, we did not know how the test and trials will come, this cup was inevitable. Later we started two days of dry fasting and prayer, we were not supposed to eat and drink, this had nothing to do with the church, for we were consecrating at home sharing the word and praying, we were not supposed to come out nor be hit by the sun, nor brush nor wash until Sunday morning, we were in prayer singing in the presence of God, and I was leading the praise and prayer deep in the night with eyes shut, then I felt a heat and light covering me. When we opened the eyes we saw the pillar of fire that came down with great light, the Lord spoke in the pillar of fire, and warned that a child life was threatened in the city by witches, unless we intervene he will die because witches were plotting to kill him, the Lord then gave me the passage of Acts of Apostle chapter 26 16 comma now get up and stand on your feet. I have appeared to you to appoint you as a servant and as a witness of what you have seen and will see of me. I will rescue you from your own people and from the Gentiles. I am sending you to them to open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan to God, so that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Then the pillar of fire disappear, but when this pastor sibling came back from vacation, I no longer had a place to sleep and began to sleep with my leader and began to suffer from his unfair treatment. 
I remember one day when the food was cooked and we had visitor, and we were about to eat when the pastor said Joshua you are not eating, I sat there watching the pastor and his visitor eating yet I was hungry, I spent 28 days without food surviving on water, I went on to beg a neighbor who was selling rice on the corner of the street, when he heard that I spent many days without food he gave me rice that I went to cook for the next two day. The suffering was so intense that I finally decided to become a bus controller, I was praying and walking until I went to kneel down on the pavement, honestly when you see my knees they have become really black and had become so strong, to the point where I don't feel pain anymore when I am on my knees, I was singing and praising when the Lord Jesus Christ appeared before me and held my hand, he told me, Joshua, I will make you visit a legendary and historical city, I said thank you Lord and in a split second we landed in the city of Rome, the Lord showed me St. Peter Basilica, then I noticed a big boulevard, and from the boulevard I noticed a particular avenue, the Lord said Joshua you see this avenue, it is a really old avenue, dating back to the times of my apostles, this avenue is called Via Appia, Joshua take note that it is in this avenue that my apostle Peter was arrested and killed, then we led me to this avenue and we were walking, then we arrived before a chapel, the Lord told me, Joshua, you see this chapel, it is here that Peter my disciple was arrested, then the Lord began to tell me what happened to Peter on that day of his arrest, the Lord said, on that particular day Christians in the Roman Empire were hunted down and many were arrested and killed, people were running on the main road, but my disciple Peter left the main road and took this avenue, it is when Peter was running to save his life in this avenue that he met me, he could not recognize me because I took another shape, then the Lord said Peter who could not recognize him, asked him in Latin where are you going, I forgot Peter question in Latin, but I wrote it in my Bible, when Peter asked the Lord where are you going, the Lord told me, Joshua, I told Peter I am going the where they are killing Christian people, the Lord said, Peter who was unable to recognize me told me, please, don't go there they are killing Christian, I replied to Peter I am going there because I want to be killed, but Peter kept telling me don't go that they will kill you, I insisted to Peter that I am going there in order to die, Peter could not understand what was going on for everybody was running to save his life, it's when Peter observed me very well that I revealed myself to him, at that moment when Peter recognized me that he remembered that he promised to lay down his life for me, it is written Peter asked, Lord, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you, when Peter remember these words that he told me previously, I disappeared right before him, Peter said in his heart I swore to die for the Lord, I should not be running away from death, then Peter turned around walked towards those who were hunting down a believer and he was arrested right there at Apu Avia Avenue, and a chapel is erected there as a memorial for him. After this experience I talked to someone who lived in Italy and he confirmed to me what the Lord showed me, on another occasion after praying all night, I woke up in the morning and went to church with my wife and children, I preached and afterward I received people for counseling, finally I took my wife and children and we were walking back home, on the street I met a brother who also came back from a church in the other part of the city to my surprise he hugged with excitement and said pastor you came back well, I said what do you mean, did we meet today, he said pastor you just preached in our church and the message that you preached today and the miracle that happened today is beyond anything I have ever seen in my life, pastor, what I saw today the way go is using you is like a dream, and it keep coming back in my mind as I am walking, I said brother did you come to visit us at our church today, he said no I did not come to your church but pastor you came to preach to our church today, I looked at my wife and my wife look at me, and my wife told this brother my husband has just finished preaching in our church how can you say that he came to preach at your church, the man told me, pastor Joshua, my pastor was leading the service when you came and preached, and I am overwhelmed by the miracle that I saw, pastor Joshua I don't know what to give you. I told this brother I did not come to your church for I'll have just finished the service in our church, brother are you dreaming or what, this brother said to me, pastor you see the way you are dressed it is precisely how you were dressed when you preached in our church, what was surprising is that the preaching described by this brother was precisely the message I preached in my church, 
When I tried to insist that I did not come to this brother church, he told me, Pastor Joshua, if you doubt my words I will call my pastor or a member of our church and they will confirm to you that you came to preach in our church, and you were dressed exactly like this, and after preaching and performing miracle you left, and my pastor continued the service, upon hearing this brother report I did not want to continue to insist, I told him it's alright brother it's fine, and then he went away. My wife decided to minimize all this, but I was in wonder, I was worried that people may think I am an occultist or demon that is capable to be simultaneously in two places, in the night I prayer and said Lord this phenomena is too strong for the people. They will think that I am a satanist or a demon who is able to be in two places at the same time, the Lord responded in audible voice and said, Joshua, I can do with you all I want because you are my instrument. I can use you where and when I want, the way I did with Philpip I can do with you. Did you not read that I appear in many people simultaneously after my resurrection, I can also do that with you, so why are you fearing, brother normally I avoid giving this kind of testimony because many in the evangelical world are not ready for this level of manifestation, a brother came from America to testify in my church what the Lord has done for him but I stopped him from testifying because I thought people were not ready for this level of manifestation of the Spirit. He told me he was sick there in America and was hospitalized in intensive care, he was on the machine in in the intensive care, then he saw that I came to visit him physically, I talked to him and prayed for him, finally I remove all the machines that doctors had put on his body and he was healed after prayer, then I led him out of the hospital and he went home. When the doctor came he was no longer in the hospital, days later this brother called me to confirm the healing, telling me that I came to America to pray for him in the hospital and I led him home, yet I had never traveled to America even though he saw me physically in the hospital there in America, when I kept saying that I never came to visit him in the hospital in America he told me he has proof that I went there and he was insisting, since he was healed this brother took the plane in order to come and see me here in Congo in order to testify before the church, but I did not agree for him to testify this level of the operation of the Spirit of God because some people have weak faith, 